It might seem counterintuitive, but buying a home in winter is actually much easier, cheaper, and more convenient than at any other time of the year. To give us more information on this, we have our real estate expert with us. Please join me welcoming him to the show. Thank you so much for being here, Jay. Good to be here, Molly. All right. Is it a good time to buy a home in winter or should people wait? Well, that's a great question. Now, generally, spring has been considered the best time to put a house on the market. Warmer weather, inspired us to get out more. However, however, people that are looking, if you wanted to sell, for example, people who are looking to buy and go out in this cold, home hunting, are dead serious. Absolutely. They're going to buy your home. There are sellers that need to sell for any amount of reasons. And the people that are on the market, they are dead serious. So this is the, if you're looking to buy or to sell, winter can be a great time. That's right, because there is less inventory. Yes. Spring will bring lots more inventory, a lot more choices, yes. right? And then, you know, supply and demand. Competition. Yeah, that's right. So right now, there are not that many homes on the market. Yes. And so if you're a seller, chances of you getting your money mm -hmm. higher um, price for your house is higher. Yes. And also, if you are a buyer, then, you know, you there are lots of choices yes, for right. you to. And uh, you can avoid competition. That's right. Because you see also, in that, in that circuit, you're looking for a good realtor mm -hmm. or good realtors. As Realtor is always so important. Very isn't important. It? In the spring, everybody's running hustle bustle. As a research community, we all have more time during this time to devote to an individual client. I'm not saying that we are not giving that, but now if, if you're really looking to get that next level, the highest level of service, people have more time during this season. All right. And also, uh, less number of buyers in the less market also buyers. means uh, lesser chances of having multiple offers. That's right. Isn't That's it? That's right. Exactly. Because in Toronto, for in the housing market, uh, you, you, I'm sure you know this, but there are bidding wars. You have a house on the market in Toronto and you have a bidding day. You've got like 5, 8, 10, 15, 20 offers on that one property. That's right. And this time, because there are less buyers, you can actually have a chance to get in. All right. So if you're in the market mm -hmm. to buy a home, yep. this is a good time. That's right. And if you're a seller who's looking for top dollar, this is also a very good time. Anything else? Yes. At this time, for the same reason mentioned, because there's less hustle and bustle, a few less buyers out there, every home will need some kind of renovation. Mm -hmm. Even a brand new home requires that. And trace people will be easier to get because there's a six month wait list in some cases and they'll be cheaper. Mm -hmm. Number two, moving. You do need a good moving company. They will also be easier to get and cheaper. That's right. And so if you are looking for a moving company, make sure you hire a credible, very, uh, reputable. Very good. <laughs> That's important. right. Because we have seen people, you know, have a really hard time because they don't show up or they don't show up on time. And, you know, your due closes at six o'clock and you have to be out of your property before that. And if the movers don't show up on time, it can be a very stressful experience. I just thought I should mention that. And read the contract with the movers too. <laughs> mm, very important. And that's, I guess, that brings us back to the importance of having a good realtor, right, in your corner. Very, very. Because they bring you so much a wealth of knowledge and experience, right? And it is their job to then make uh, the whole process so much more convenient and easy for you. Absolutely. It's about the representation. Because mm. we come with 5, 10, 15, in my case, 30 years of experience. Mm. You Think about this now. They're buying their most in, 
my, one of the possibly the largest investments of their life. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to protect that? That's right. Don't you want to protect that? All right. Anything else that the public should know about? Well, what I want to say is that on the next um, show, we're going to actually talk about what happened in 2020. Mm -hmm. That's so what I would say is uh, the year in review. Now, I'm, I'm not going to give the details. You might hear the news in the next day or two. But if you're going to do something, don't wait. I'm going to give a sense of urgency. Do you realize that real estate community and agents are deemed to be an essential service? You know why that is? You know, because people need it. So therefore, right now, my advice to you that I would say in closing is that in this season, take time, get a professional, interview at least one, two, or three good realtors. I'm available. You can always call me. Absolutely. And get the very best because this is your future. We live in a great, in a great country. This is Toronto. We are glad to be here. Make the most of it. Yes. And with that, all I would like to uh, emphasize is that uh, we, we are in a great country. We have some good people who are handling um, our financial sector. And so from, for all foreseeable reasons that we can think, real estate market is strong. And it's going to continue yes. uh, to be strong. So if you've been sitting on the fence thinking, you know, um, perhaps the market is going to come down and maybe that would be a good time. Well, we know a lot of people who cannot afford to buy anymore for that reason. I have an offer, if I may, to give Please the do. viewers. Mm -hmm. If you would like to get a copy of the year in review, a special report emailed to you, you see my email on the screen, or I'm going to give it to you. Email me and just say, I want the report. I saw you on T on Chai with Molly TV. And my email is, do you have a pen? Even if you see it down there, let me give it to you. My name, J-A-Y-B-A-N-E-R-J-E-I at H-E-Y dot com. That's J-A-Y-B-A-N-E-R-J-E-I at hey dot com. And you're going to get something that other people will not have. They only hear about it, but I commit to sending it to you. Thank you so much, Jay. That's a great offer. So I would like to encourage you to, um, to contact Jay at the email that he has provided to you. Do it now so you can get this report so you can make intelligent decisions about your real estate goals as you move forward. Uh, we would also like, before we go, I, I would also like to mention mm -hmm. that we are looking to add 25 new people to our portfolio that we can personally help in investing in real estate. So if you're one of those people, as I said, there's only 25 people that we will be working with in addition to our current pool of people that we That's already right. are That's helping. Right. So if you want to be one of those, contact us and let us know that you too would like to benefit mm -hmm. from our vast experience. And so perhaps in, in the next show, you've seen us in the, in the past, but in the next few shows, we will be talking about real estate investment. There are still many, many opportunities that are available for our clients. And we would like for you to benefit uh, from our experience and our expertise. And with that, um, thank you so much for being here. And we look forward to hearing from you. Go ahead, make that call or send that email right now. Thank you so much for being here, Jay. My pleasure. Thank you, Molly. My pleasure.